Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Fable, the book one let's play. So, last time we finally got our dragon egg and now it's time to hatch it. So, breakfast with Waldeck we finished. We finished all the stuff in between. So now we're on the secret cave. Now, I just want to say, I think I said this in one of the last videos, but I just want to say a big, big thank you on this one on the series so far. It's been really fun to be back playing this game and recording it and I'm really happy that these are... Uh, a bunch of you watching so thank you for that and I want to say as well that content of the let's play is going right now I do want to start doing some more content soon maybe some guides and other types of things like other weird things that I'm thinking of the let's play will still continue as frequently every day but I might add some other little things here and there as well and second thing as well I did say before that I wanted to get the paladin class now, I really want to ask your permission if I want, I want you to all decide if you want. If you want me to record me getting the Paladin as part of the Let's Play, and then, um, you know, just getting the Paladin training up, or do you want me to do it off camera? Because the Paladin, if you're following by the Let's Play, the timeline, I mean, you would get it around here when you go to um, Seattle's. So, do you want me to either wait up until I get it here, which I wouldn't mind, really, wouldn't be too bad, or do you want me to get it off camera, or do you want me to get it on camera soon? So it's up to you, I'll let you all decide. Uh, so right now, let's go to Twilly. Uh, exit this. Uh, amazing, Midner. You have the dragon egg. We better put it in a safe place. Hmm. I know secret cave. The secret cave. There it is. I also think it's hashtag screenshot time. <laughs> Even though I'm not really going to be picking this egg. Uh, you can only choose your egg's design once, as it will determine the dragon's dragon with hatches. Take your time and discuss it on the forums. The stone statue, conveniently located in the secret cave, is enchanted. I'll keep your dragon egg warm until it hatches. Now, for those of you curious, it doesn't really do anything. It kind of customizes the way the dragon looks, I think. And I'm not really sure, but it might do the element of the weapon, the dragon, I mean. But you can customize your dragon anyway, so not really too important. I don't think it has too much of a meaning. So you might as well go for the one they think looks cool. <laughs> I'm going to go for this weird black and grey one. Are you sure you want this egg? You can only choose once and then it's permanent. Yes. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I'm thinking this is an even better screenshot because it's actually my egg. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Okay, then we have to leave the cave. We go back to the twilly, it's a little bit weird. So we have the hatching. However, I do want to just do this first, because we do have a quest that comes beforehand. I wish it was on Twilly, but you have to access it through the, uh, this. It's a little bit weird, but yeah, a Rackiner attack. While waiting for your dragon egg to hatch, something terrible has happened. The ground opened up beneath Valkyrie, and your incubating egg fell into, into below, fell below. It's time to stop this invasion of spiders and receive your egg. Case we have a website. I'm not gonna click that, but you can if you want. Special event, a Rackiner attack. The case we have a clan, an ancient race of spider men, have awoken and risen from the underground city and struck a fist first blow against the surface world, started with Falkreach. These wall crawls are also responsible for, one word, the theft of the dragon eggs. Defeat the waves of spider invaders, not spiders, I guess they are spiders, to draw out the real villain. Look at all those waves completed. I defeat several more for this wave. It's kind of weird how this game has never really been the most popular game. It's always got a constant stream of players. But it's weird to think like 10, like, what was, was it like 100,000 waves? 
Oh, was that like 10,000? I can't remember. I think it was 100,000. But it makes you wonder how many, how many people have done so many waves. Kind of weird. Anyway, I think these togs are just resistant to nothing. I don't know the uh, uh, light. Okay, it's fine for us. Except Pooh Man, because it is resistant. But that's fine. Death Widow. Nature still. So, Pooh Man is kind of shit, but that's alright. Come to think of it, Pooh Man is going to be gone after this video. Everyone say goodbye to Piz Puddle. Pooh Man. S in the comments. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh yeah, also, before people ask, I will be training my dragon. So, when we start getting the pet dragon, you can feed the dragon. And you can pick, like, you can only feed him once per day. We can pick out of like loads of different food options to feed the dragon. And what I'm thinking is... Uh, oh, I didn't kill him. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to start spending my dragon coins on the food. Because I don't really... Feeding the dragon every day can be a little bit boring. So I want it to go as fast as it can. And before I be blasting, I know it's kind of a waste of coins. But I don't really have anything I really want to spend them on right now anyway, so... I can't really think of anything I'm going to be spending them on. I probably will eventually, but like 2,000 coins, well, 2,100, 2,100, it's quite a lot to really be thinking about. If you want to buy a weapon for its cosmetic, at the most, they cost like 300, so most of the time, it costs like 300, so I'm going to use my dragon coins to buy the food and then train my dragon up. Just so it's a little bit faster. So just in case people are wondering, I am going to be feeding him. Leveling him up and stuff. If I remember, I'll hopefully be logging on every day to feed him. And I am kind of playing every day anyway to record, so... Not every day, like today for example. I'm probably going to be recording like two or three videos today, so... Yeah. Well, maybe two. So I'll hopefully remember to do it every day. I play. Even if I'm not playing like to record, I might just log on and then feed him. I spy with my little eye spider goo. Nice. Keep that, sell it. And now we're back here. God damn it, game. <laughs> I actually have four of these. Same. It's, it's a bit of a shame that I stack. The one of the recent, not recent, but it's been out like, quite a while. They um, made items so you could like, press like, oh, how many do you want to sell? And you can select a quantity. But you can't do that when items are stack. So it's kind of useless for certain cases. Wish the game as well wouldn't kick you back to the map. To the, um, not map, what am I saying? Bad Falcon Reach, because it always kicks you back where you were last stood. Like in a safe place. And says that I'm not really stood anywhere. It spawns you back at Falcon Reach. I wish it spawned you back here. Then it would make finding the ways as well easier. But oh well. Can't have everything. And let's see the boss. Spider Man, sir. The conquest of your surface town has proven too difficult for the Spider Queen's minions. So I. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> so I have come to stop you. What do you mean? What do you want from us? Why attack us? What happened to the dragon eggs? In that order. I beg your pardon? I'm asking if you want me to answer those three questions in the order. Um, sure, go right ahead. First, what do we want from you? We can see that there are many differences between our two people. But those are just on the outside. And it is what's inside that really matters. And what is... Well, and that is what we want. Your delicious insides. new. Do you want, you want to eat us? It's funny because when I said ooh, I wasn't actually reading this, I just said ooh, but it happened to be what he said. Well, yes. Don't you want to eat us? No, of course not. Okay, forget that one then. Second, why are we attacking you? It is you who attacked us first. What? You didn't even know that there was a city below us. So then, do you deny dropping a large statue of a dragon 
clutching an egg directly into our town square. It's funny, this side of quest, this little quest kind of sets up the Tomic's quest line. It's, it's cool. It's kind of like the start of it. Because it shows that there's a town beneath Falkreach, which is where um, Raven Loss is it called? And Tomix's quest lines are set. That's pretty cool. You mean, you mean you didn't take the egg? At the start, you just sort of fell through the floor. <coughs> is that what happened? That's kind of funny. Eh, eh. Ah, okay. So that one is taken care of too. And if you just give us the eggs back, we can't call this whole thing off. Yeah, it's a big misunderstanding. Except that the egg turned out to be a very important dragon egg. We're keeping it. And we still want to eat you. Since you don't want to eat us, that makes things a lot easier. Why do I even try to talk my way out of things like this? Yay. <laughs> I like how all the people are hiding. Don't know why it's funny to me, it just is. Because I'm just randomly poking out from the thing. Anyway, so this guy is a weak to resistant to water, I mean. We'll just get a stun. Skip the turns. I could have uh, de equipped him, but I'm lazy. So the judge. <laughs> this guy is actually quite strong. He's done a pretty good, like, nearly qu over a quarter of my health. Nearly a third. Yeah, look at him. Whoa! That was like a hundred damage. Damn. Okay, that's bad. I might just go for this then. Minimize his damage output. For a few turns. That makes sense, right? And then I might go for... I thought there was an attack that lowered his bonus. I guess I was thinking of this, where it adds bonus. That's fine though, we've got a shield next end, so we'll get this for now. You know what, it's actually a chance I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. Quite awesome. It's not weak to anything either, so I can't really switch to a better weapon. Hmm. Uh, I'll get the double and triple, and then I'll heal. Gonna have to. He's almost dead though. He's got about a third of his health left, so it's not terrible. But he's pretty tough. Kind of sad. I mean, if a pick could actually damage him, it would be a little bit easier. I am actually going to die. Right. Um, I could go for that, but I don't think I'm going to survive the next attack. <laughs> oh, no. This is sad. That attack wasn't too bad. So I'll go for this now. Then I'll be able to shield. Then I think I'm okay. The shield, thank you. I'm ready, bring it on. Ow, he hit me through the shield. Damn, this should kill him. Oh, it's very close. Next attack. Oh, this, ooh, I'm almost dead. If that missed, I would have been so sad. <laughs> should have healed and not risked it. Well, the monster is defeated and the town is saved. Once more. Hmm, what to do now? Not so sure why, but I really feel like going out to see a movie all of a sudden. Hmm. You could help me patch up my floor if you wanted to. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm back. Tell you what, Sereni. Let's go all to the movies and then I'll help you fix your floor. Ahem, I'm back. And I'm fine. Don't, know what, don't anyone worry about me. I just rescued the dragon eggs, all of them. By myself. Actually, a movies does sound good. What do you want to go see? Let's see what's playing. I'm sure I'll think of something. Hello, dragon eggs. By myself. Is anyone listening? I have to get these things back to the cave before they hatch. Hatch? When does that happen, Twilly? Oh, now you're listening. The dragon eggs hatch exactly one year from the appearance of the dragon amulets on June 10th. Thought everyone knew that. <laughs> it's kind of cool how um, the game 
acknowledges every player. So it's like, instead of it just being one dragon egg, it's multiple because it's like every player's egg. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, we can actually go see the egg hatch now. So let's go to Twilly. Go to the hatch, hatching. It's time, it's time, quick. Let's go to the cave where your dragon egg is. You did it. You are now in possession of the dragon egg. Now, um, how we make it hatch and become a dragon lord? Visit your egg, watch over it. The real event is about to start. Yes. What took you so long? You almost missed it. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for so long for this day. I don't to get to see a dragon hatch every day. Especially one that is so special. Twilly, you knew that it was going to hatch today. Sure, Lady Celestia gave me the exact date and time of the hatching. What? Why doesn't everyone, anyone ever tell me anything? I literally just saw it that it was June 10th. I tried everything to get it to hatch. Really? Like what? Well, I tried sitting on it, of course. Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> then I tried singing to it. Rock away, eggy, in the stone claws. When the wind blows, the. Oh, I feel like an idiot. I tried asking nicely. Please, 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 please. With sugar and candy and. and whatever dragons eat. Puppies or princesses or something on top. I tried to gently tap on the egg. Okay, egg. Let's see which one of us breaks first. <laughs> I even tried a saucy puppy show to cork it out. Oh, Mr. Pudding Shins. You scoundrel. <laughs> Not even that worked. If I knew that it was on a t set timer, I would have saved me. It would have saved me a lot of time. Minder, look, it's moving. On the other hand, because Sepulchre has the white dragon egg. Lord Sepulchre, the egg is moving. The hatching time is upon us at last. With the might of this dragon at my command, the world will bow at my feet. The age of darkness begins as soon as my dragon takes his first breath. But, but the hatching hatchling will only be a baby how... The drag amulet drag hath. With the power of the drag amulet, the dragon will assume its fully grand form at my command. My lord, a crack in the shell. A crack in the egg shell. It won't be long now. I... I don't know what to do. What should I do? Should I boil some water? Why would you boil water? I don't know. I know that people boil water when a baby's about to be born. Perhaps you're ready for anything. We still don't know which dragon egg this will be. The saviour of the world or its destroyer. It's time. It's hatching. It is time. Yay. So basically, suppose we got the dragon egg that would save. The world, and I got the other, that will destroy it, but you'll see in a minute. Hmm, that's not exactly what I was expecting. There you go, he turns it into an evil, undead dragon. But master, what have you done? Is that better than my little Dracolich? I think I'll call you Fluffy. So it's kind of weird, it's like... It's like nature and nature, and it? it's like you're nurturing the dragon to be good, even though you get the evil one, supposedly. Here we go. And he sleeps. Oh, it's so cute. It doesn't look so evil. Does it, Twilly? <laughs> Twilly? Hmm. Hmm. Awesome. That was very delayed. Your baby dragon has hatched. Speak to Lily Celestia in Sunbeam's Grove. 
she should have some idea on what needs to be done for a baby uh, dragon. I don't know what I just read. But it still makes sense. So let's go to Lady Celestia. You can go back to the Dragon Egg Saga, by the way, and replay the stuff if you want to. Pretty cool. Oh, shit. Alright, so let's go to Lady Celestia. This video isn't actually too short. So... I might not want to do too much, because I was going to do some dragon training. Greetings, Midnight. It's good to see you again. Welcome to Sunbury's Grove. My home and that of my apprentice, Alicia. Alicia? 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 I'm going to say Alicia. Right. So we've got tall. Greetings, Midnight. Welcome to Sunbury's Grove. Hello, Midnight. Midnight. Lady Celestia has told me much about you. I'm Alicia. A apprentice. It, it, in this place of peace, you can deepen your bond with your dragon, learning from each other and growing together. Although Alicia is still learning, she shows great promise. You're happy to assist with the dragon's growth and training. I'm trying to learn all I can about where the elemental powers of the dragons come from. I want to help dragons focus their elemental powers and perhaps even unlock new abilities. But that will take me quite some time to figure out. I am still very new and there is so much to learn. To be honest, I'm still a little homesick. Lady Slashtree is so nice, but things are so different here. And there's so much I don't know. You'll do well, Alicia. I'm pretty sure of it. You have so much potential. There is time for yet for you to realize it. Okay, so we're gonna do baby dragon quest and training. Some stuff here. Uh, dragon riding. This is the dragon lord class, which I'm not. I'm not really gonna mess around with. I don't think. And you can customize your dragon. So as dragons grow, their appearance may change and adapt to their environment. Since your dragon is traveling and botting with you. Your vision for your dragon will have great influence on their appearance. And don't forget to give your dragon a proper name. Here we go. So this is the... Alright, I don't know if I'm going to leave him as Draco. I might, I might do. Uh, so... What do I want a dragon cult to be? I want to do like a paladin, as I said. So I kind of want to go for a more... paladin colour. I don't really want like a... A paladin with like a black dragon. I feel as I, <laughs> I kind of like role playing a lot in these games. So I kind of like to stick to something. I want to go for like a white dragon. I think I also okay. I kind of like it. Uh, right, customize. Oh, you can do more, more colors and enter the correct values, which is pretty cool. Kind of like that. The armor coloration does it as well. That looks pretty cool. Either way, oh shit, yeah, that's done. So that is the vision that you have for your dragon. It's such interesting choices. Now, when you use your dragon amulet to unleash your dragon's full power, you will see that the bond between you has thus shaped the appearance of your dragon. The vision of your dragon should change for whatever reason. You're welcome to return and can, I can help you focus. Cherish your bond with the Draco, with the Draco, with Draco, and not every Dragon Lord is lucky enough to share in such a connection. I'm sure your journey together will be, will be the stuff of legends. I can't wait to hear the tales. Awesome. So, Element Eyes, I want to go for a light dragon. I see that you've been taking good care of your dragon. I, even though I've not met him really yet. Have I got, like, I don't know. I thought my quality changed, I don't know why. I also have faith that you would succeed. Your dragon is very special, and so it would seem are you. Unlike most dragons, your dragon has the ability to shift their element to will. With your guidance, I'm sure you will be able to help Draco choose the best element for the moment. I'm going for light. I can always change it later. I'm assuming. Just primal, oh yeah, primal, yeah. With primal, you get like bacon and shit. 
Uh, I already want armor. Right, confirm. Set to light. So, dragon, law, dragon rider. Alright, so I want to do like one quick quest. I think we can see our dragon here though. There he is. Kind of cute, isn't he? There you go. Um, so light 10 to 12, 5 crit. Bonus 16. Takes you actually fighting this mischief, whatever. So we got to train. I haven't got anything yet, actually. Um, but how do you, Korea? Oh, I can sell your items. That's weird. So you can sell shit without them to go to a shop. How do we buy food? Huh. Pet. Doesn't want to do that right now. <laughs> yeah, you have like a proper new... I've not really messed around with this too much. How do you buy food though? Uh... I don't really know what to do for that. There might be another option. Somewhere else. Reset. So if I just like... Put one point. But it's still like, oh, you need food. So I thought... Yeah, let's go... One. And I can't do it because I ain't got any. Right, how do you buy food then? Either way, I'll continue and just do... Uh, some... So, we have a uh, quest. Uh... Dragon Rider quest, so uh, Titanize can grow your dragon, make him a big dragon, and then you get dragon training. In order to battle effectively a top Draco as a Dragon Rider, you will need to hone your skills together. After a village under attack, you and Draco have to stop Dogzilla and his Kaiju army from destroying all Tog. So, it's like Tokyo, but it's Tokyo. I can't let my dragon. I think he's like one of the coolest ones I've made so far. His wings don't really match the overall aesthetic of him, but it looks kind of cool. I even changed the wings. <laughs> Might go for a different type. It doesn't really match with the head. But yeah, if any of you know, please tell me how you feed the dragon. I'd really appreciate that. So I really don't know how to do it. Unless there's a tab I missed. Which could be a thing. But there's also always like an option. Like down here to like buy food. It's not here now because I've redone it. Also I'm not going to do the entirety of the. Every level of the dragon right now. <laughs> just, just say no. I'm going to do this one just to show the. How you do it. And then I'll leave it here and then do it off camera. Not right now, because after this video I'm going to be recording another. But, you know, like, maybe after the next video I'm probably going to do some off camera. This is really good XP farming as well. I mean, like, if I do this like 10 times, I'll probably level up like twice. Not bad. And I know so well you also get the mana back when you do the normal attack on the dragon, which is pretty cool. I wouldn't have thought they'd bother with the dragon, but awesome. Oh uh, yes, the colour of the dragon egg gives you a certain boost. I don't really know what mine does then. I kind of forgot about that, but I just remembered it as soon as I saw it. I don't really know what my boost does, but yeah, because I paid that we black and grey egg. I don't really know what it means, but yeah, I'll probably be able to look it up and see loads of egg types. I should have maybe done it now, but, I, well, before I picked it. It's only going to end a speed and a gift with attacking twice. Okay, that's actually a decent attack then. A decent, um, a decent buff. Maybe. I don't really know. Alright, it's the boss fight. This guy can be quite tough. And you're not getting any abilities on the dragon. So the idea is that every time you do this quest, you'll gain a skill, a new skill, the dragon. And it's definitely for crits, I'm not 
gonna be able to kill him, aren't we? <laughs> but yeah, the first time is always the hardest because you get more skills, as I said, each time you do it, so it gets easier each time you do it. Kinda. Well, that was kinda close, but... Should be dead now. Oh, three health. <laughs> this is very close now. If I missed, I would have died. And uh, lost a new skill for your dragon. Complete. You've got all XP. <laughs> like, if I do this off camera, which I will, like, I'll be level like 14, maybe 15 time here. And nice record. Here they go. I'm gonna go for this, these wings with this colour. Kind of goes with the Griffiny head, so it makes sense. I think that looks kind of nice. So, this video has been quite long again. And, but I am going to be chopping all that out. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions, think what name you want to give my dragon. I'll let you all name him if you want. Either way, thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.